That's the premise of the new movie entitled Water. It's produced by former Beatle George Harrison, and it stars Michael Caine, who joins us now from our NBC News Bureau in London. Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Brian. How would you describe this, this governor, this Baxter Thwaites that you play? What kind of a character is he? I think he's uh, one of the derelicts of the British Empire. That's <laughs> what he is. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a great character. He's a, he's a, he's a drunk. He, he smokes pot, and he, he's, he's all for the uh, islanders. On a, it, it all takes place on an island in the, in the Caribbean. And uh, he's, he's very much what the British used to call in the Empire days, gone native. Yeah, is it tough for you to play somebody so seedy or enjoyable? No, it's wonderful. I, I like playing seedy characters. This was, that was a particularly seedy period <laughs> of my life. I played three drunks in a row. I did uh, Educating Rita and the uh, Honorary Consul, which was called Beyond the Limit in America, and Water all one after the other. So I was a sort of rather sleazy, overweight drunk for about a year. <laughs> well, why are you playing all these middle-aged sots? I mean, would you have it otherwise? <laughs> I, I just enjoyed that, that sort of period. I mean, this was all three years ago that I did this. <laughs> I'm, I'm now back to playing thin leading men. That's so all right. <laughs> and suave but and debonair. I got, <laughs> yeah, I'm all suave and debonair again. But I, I've, I've lost 30 pounds since I've played all those characters. But, you know, they're very amusing to play. I mean, drunks are, are, are um, provided you're not one yourself, very funny. Huh. But I mean, I, but alcoholism isn't, I must say. How do you prepare yourself to play something so sleazy? I mean, I don't understand. Well, you, you, the, the best research for this is to be a British actor for 25 years, <laughs> which is what I want. <laughs> because, because, you know, I always say to American actors take drugs and English actors get drunk, and they do. They really drink a lot, British actors. Me too, sometimes, but not very often. Well, let's take a look. And so, I'm just going to stop you for one moment just so we can let everybody in on the, on the fun of this. And, and that is a, a scene in which you and Valerie Perrine are taken hostage by the local terrorists <laughs> on this island. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Good clip. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, look. <no, laughs> <laughs> whether, whether, whether you are playing uh, middle-aged sots or, or, um, or, or the cool debonair gent, you always manage to make your on-screen efforts look easy. Is acting easy for you these days? No, it's not. It gets more difficult because the, the parts get better as you get older. And better means more difficult. The, the, I think the, whole, the difficulty with, with screen acting is to make it look like it's easy. It's like um, when you watch Fred Astaire dance, you actually think for a moment that you could do that. But of course you couldn't. Of course, <laughs> yes, we do know that. The, the trick is, to, yes. <laughs> well, the trick is to make it look. If, if if someone sees me on the screen and says, "God, I could do that," what's he get all that money for? Then the, the, I've accomplished what I set out to do, is is to make it look like I'm not doing anything. Well, you've said that actors and, uh, aren't normal people, haven't you? Pardon? I mean, you've said before that actors aren't normal people. How are they different? They're different in uh, very slight ways. Well, some of them are really abnormal. But I'm talking <laughs> about people like myself. Is, is that um, we're people who are interested in other people more, more than interested in ourselves. Basically, you always say people say well, the normal thing to say about actors is say, well, of course, you, you must have a very strong ego. Well, you don't because it's the other people who have the strong ego. <laughs> because what you do is, is you spend your entire life looking at other people to see what you can find in them to put across on the screen rather than what people think is you're looking in the mirror trying to comb your hair or see if your lipstick's on straight. Mm. Winds up being a, a series of self-exposures. Yeah, well, well, the point is if, if, you're, if you're a bad actor, you, you're a picture. If you're a good actor, you're a mirror. I like that. I think I'll write that one down. Michael Caine, yeah, yeah, right. it's always a pleasure to, um, to talk with you and applaud your work. The latest is water. Best wishes. Thank you very much indeed, Brian.